Hello folks, this is a guide on the 6 artifact domains. It will provide tips to those who are struggling and maybe help others breeze through it even faster. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with the clear pool and mountain cavern for the bloodstain and noblesse artifacts. I'll show two methods. The first one requires an enamel user such as the MC or Venti. When you start the trial, walk straight to the back and make a left turn. Stop between the two blue markers on the ground. Wait for the three abyss mages to teleport in front of you and catch them all with your ultimate. The swirls from an anemo character will cause the abyss mage to break each other's shields. Once their shields are broken, use your best AoE and burst them down. I will focus on the pyro abyss mage first since he has an aura that summons an annoying fireball. If you don't have the damage to burst the abyss mages in one go, then use this second method. When you start the trial, go to the bottom right corner to not aggro the hydro mage. You will only have to fight the pyro and cryo mage at the same time. Bring a hydro character and pyro character to break their shields respectively. Once again, I like to focus on the pyro mage first since he has an annoying aura, but you should also destroy the cryo mage's shield so it stun and won't attack you. Once both of these are dead, you can snipe the Hydro Mage from afar or just run up and kill them. This Hydro Shield takes extra damage from Cryo attacks, but Electro damage works just as good. The Hidden Palace of Zhou is where you get the Pyro Artifacts. If you can't handle fighting two mobs at the same time, then this is the method for you. When you start the trial, go to the bottom right of the room. Do not change characters right away since that may aggro the other slime. If you bring a Cryo character and cause a Melt Reaction, it does bonus AoE damage. The level of the character doesn't really matter, you can see my level 20 Kaya is doing a nice chunk of bonus damage. Just kill the slime with your best non-Pyro damage. Once in a while, the fire sigil from the center will buff all enemies. This will greatly increase their defense, so use a hydro character to remove the buff. You can see this buff drops the cryo AoE damage from 4300 to 1900. Once the buff is gone, just continue attacking the slime. The pyro aura causes a fireball to spawn from time to time. This fireball will home in on your location and then explode. It will do this 3 times before disappearing. You can move away from the slime to bait the fireball and then once it starts exploding, go back in. After you beat the slime, stay where you are and the next muted churro will come straight at you. Just defeat him like a normal enemy. If he has the pyro buff, he will be glowing red. Use a hydro attack to remove it. Same thing for the next muted churro that spawns after it. The fourth enemy will be a Pyro Abyss Mage. Just use your Hydro characters to destroy the shield and then kill it. Yeah. 
Once this mage is dead, you are left with a slime and the final abyss mage. If you don't want to fight both at the same time, you can lear the slime away to the corner like the other enemies. Handle them like you did in the past and the pyro artifacts will await as your reward. Valley of Remembrance is where you farm the Venera and Maiden set. I like to start off by going to a corner and making a Gulba Tornado. This will help group up a bunch of enemies. If your MC have enough energy recharge, you can probably out again real soon. Use your best AoE to destroy the ranged enemies so you can focus on the Pyro Agent and the Sison Mage. Since this domain have a lot of smaller enemies, the AoE crowd control from Venti or Sucrose will make this super easy. If you don't have either, then use a Nemo MC. Midsummer Courtyard is where you farm the Electro Artifacts. I like to start off with the Global Tornado like the last domain. Pyro characters are great here since they can proc the bonus AoE damage. You should kill the Yellow Slimes first since they can command the Purple Slime to do an AoE explosion. I like to leave a single slime alive so I can charge up my energy for the two Sison mages to come. There isn't really much of a hint for the two Sison mages, you just need to burst them down as quick as possible. It gets a lot easier after you kill one of them. That's why I recommend charging up your burst on the last slime. The domain of Guyun is where you farm the Geo artifacts. For this trick, bring an archer and Geo MC. At the start, shoot the Ruin Hunter's weak spot to disable it. Then focus on the two hilly churros. Once those two are dead, use the Geo MC to place a meteorite. If you climb on the meteorite, you will cause the Ruin Hunter to always do the floating attack so you can shoot the weak spot again. Go back on the meteorite when the Hunter recovers to force this attack pattern again and again. Instead of Geo MC, you can also use Venti's E or Zhongli's Pillar and do the same thing. If you want to know more on how this works, just check out my guide on the Ruin Hunter and Ruin Guards.
After the Ruin Hunter, two Cryo Mages will spawn. Just use Bennett or an Electro character to bring down the shield. You take damage by causing the Melt Reaction, but Bennett can just heal it right back. The bonus AoE damage from Superconduct also destroys the shield pretty quickly. Peak of Vindagnir is the new domain with the Hydro and Cryo artifacts. You will want to bring at least two Pyro units to destroy the shield. Focus on the Abyss Mage first, it has a much smaller health pool. Use Pyro attacks to break the shield. The Lawachiro is very dangerous when it has this Cryo shield. It gains access to a couple AoE attacks so it's best to use Pyro to destroy the shield. Once the shield is gone, you can stagger the Lava Churro and it only does simple melee attacks. Nice Just stay calm and dash through its melee with your iframe. The attacks are pretty slow so don't get hasty and dodge early. There is also a sheer cold mechanic in this domain. If the health ticks are too much for you, then go to a red tile when your sheer cold is full to warm up. I'm only using two characters here to show you don't really need that much synergy. You only need the pyro damage to destroy the shield. And this last clip is another run at this domain with a stronger team. And that's pretty much for this guide. Like, comment, subscribe, and ask questions down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, have fun out there traveler.